Hello all, uh, back with Project Wargaming here to do a quick update on uh, tiled roofs. So uh, I'm doing a, uh, a special game that we're going to play up at Adepticon, uh, Sack of Londinium. So basically the idea is, is that uh, the Saxons are going to finally sack uh, Roman Londinium, just which is just filled with uh, leftover Romans and Britons. Um, so... Anyways, uh, a lot of the buildings are going to be kind of uh, all messed up and uh, basically start to be used for other purposes and just look kind of ramshackled and, and worn down. But uh, there's going to be a couple buildings that are still going to have some of the old tiled roof on there. So um, here is a building that I've already done uh, and uh, just wanted to give you an idea of kind of what it looks like to some extent after we're, we're done with it. But I'm going to show you how I get into it. So um, a couple things. Um, this is done slightly different than a technique that I'm going to show you. It is uh, using corrugated uh, paper. I just bought it off of uh, Amazon or whatever and easy enough to use. Uh, you can see over time that in some ways it has warped. Um, so it just uh, some of them want to don't want to quite sit correctly. Um, and then in certain areas uh, the uh, um, paper itself warped up a little bit um, for a couple different reasons. Um, when I first started making these, I would get the corrugated paper, like I said, just off of uh, Amazon, but then I would tear off the back so that uh, you actually just got just the corrugation itself, and then I would glue that down on top of there so that it would be nice and tight. Um, what I realized with that over time was it just didn't work that great. It made it less, uh, a lot more flimsy. And so um, I have instead just uh, cut out strips that still have the backing on it. So it just makes it a lot stronger. Um, it holds up over time. Uh, painting and stuff as well, since I'm using uh, latex paint and some water, uh, it doesn't uh, tend to warp or anything. So uh, here you can see I already have one side of this this building done. I cut the uh, strips in one centimeter strips. I find that that works well and then cover up about half of them. Uh, you got to play around with it a little bit so that it lines up nicely at the top. And all I do to uh, get it down is I just take some hot glue and lay it down. And then just take my thing and lay it across. I do try to line up so that the uh, tiles are over top of each other. This is a, probably a little bit long um, for this, but uh, that's okay. And then all I'll do after it's glued down is just come in with some scissors and just trim up the edge. And leave that. So it does leave you with an unfinished top, at least in my mind, unfinished. In the past, what I have used uh, to do that is I take uh, the long strips of these. So instead of cutting them short, I cut them long. Cut them long. And then I will kind of actually lay that over top of the top there. But on this, I'm going to do uh, something else. I have some leftover plastic strips. Um, so what I'm going to do is just cut these and uh, glue those into place um, kind of as a finished, which I think will will be nice and give it a, a slightly different touch. So I just thought that that might be helpful for you guys. There's plenty of others. There's Since this is going to be a mix of, um, you know, buildings in good, reshape, good shape and buildings in disrepair, uh, there's going to be some thatched roofs on there as well, but you can find plenty of... Um, different videos out there on how to how to do the thatching with the fur and all that's the craft fur so um but i haven't really seen any that are out there on making tiled roofs so i hope that helps and i hope it uh, makes your game table look better talk to you later bye